The Niagara Catholic District School Board is inspiring young thinkers by taking its students out of the classroom and into a conference hall filled with workshops, brainstorming sessions, and guest lectures. Today is the first annual Inspiring Thinkers Conference. Um, it would actually be the fifth annual Inspiring Writers Conference, but we changed it a bit this year. We wanted to incorporate um, both of our, two of our major pillars, which are literacy and numeracy. And uh, so the, tw the 28th, which is today, is a focus on literacy. So it's all writers locally and from abroad coming to speak to students. We're focused on kids that really have a talent in these areas and we really want to nurture those talents. So Joseph Boyden will be Skyping in today at 12. Um, you know, very famous, just um, wrote the Arenda, um, you know, a very prominent author. And uh, others, Diana Zlomslik, Grant LaFleche from The Standard is here. Um, Antonis Salika, Richard Scrimger, and, uh, and so a great host of writers here today. Richard Scrimger is one of today's guest speakers who passionately believes humans were born with a love for stories. I want the kids to understand where stories come from so they can build their own stories better and so they can enjoy other people's stories more. Somebody said humans are hardwired for story. We want to know what happens next. We want to be engaged. We want to be moved. We want to be surprised. And that, to my mind, is the, the heart of the story. My favorite moments of writing are not when I write the end. My favorite is the moment of writing when I'm in the middle of a chapter and I say, oh, wait, I didn't realize it. We could go that way, and I surprise myself. What do you hope that students get out of your guest speaking? I kind of hope they'll become better story enjoyers. Even though they are probably not all going to become great story writers or journalists or, or script writers, they're going to spend their life with story. They're going to spend their life watching it on TV or in movies or reading it in books. I want them to understand how stories are built so they can get more out of it. I really want students to today to get a sense of um, where can I go? I have this talent. I have this passion. What can I do with it? All right. So it's very much a pathways program. Um, I also want it to be inspiring. That's key. They may think, you know, I like writing, but uh, today I want them to be inspired to really pursue that and know that there are options out there for them. Over the course of both days, 440 students from eight different schools will take part in the Inspiring Thinkers Conference. In St. Catharines, reporting for The Source, I'm Brendan Sylvia.